Okay, so we have Yves Arke, head of drama at NRK, which is, of course, the Norwegian public broadcaster. We have Piv Bant from DR, Danish Radio in Denmark, the public broadcaster. And from Sweden, Josefine Tengblad, head of drama at TV4, the biggest commercial channel. Please have a seat. So do you have enough? Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you some water. So can you... So let me introduce you to Carl, our wonderful technician. I think he deserves an applaud of himself. So you can have a seat. I don't know. Do you want to be in... <laughs> I hope someone is tweeting. Yeah, there's a lot of cameras coming now. So we'll see. We'll see. It, it's, it's, a good, it's a good sign. It's a good start. So um, we want to talk about the commissioning a drama and working with writers and screenwriting in, in the Nordics. And I know, I mean, a lot of people are familiar with the Danish model, um, but maybe you can just uh, tell us uh, about it for, for those in the room that are not, because it's a little bit different than how most broadcasters in the Nordics work. Um, well, the Danish model is actually a, a you know, Scandinavian slash Danish version of the American model. Um, because we have this one vision, which we really, uh, you know, are very sort of uh, tense about doing all the time. And, and it's very important that the writer's vision is in the center of it all. And, uh, and uh, that's, uh, that's untouchable, uh, really. Uh, because if we have this one vision and, and it's developed by the, the head writer and the producer together, we don't have the showrunner, uh, really, but they do it together, you would say. And, uh, and when they develop the concept, the vision, um, we have this double meaning story, which is very important to get as a part of it. So, you know, you have one story, you know, which just go through, you have to f find the killer, for instance. And then you have another story, which tells a story about the Danish society, which, and I think that you have to sort of tell stories which is founded in your own cultural backyard, because then you write of what you know. And when you write of what you know, uh, then you can be much more uh, complex and you have much more uh, uh, nuanced characters, uh, plots, stories. And, and um, I'll repeat what I've said so many times before, the more local, the more global. And, um, and I think that that is the truth because um, I think when you really get into the, to the core of it, you, you strike something very um, universal. So uh, that's the thing. Uh, if we try in Denmark to sort of to do an international series, I think we, we would sort of go down the drain with a, within very few years because we can't do that, but we can do really original Danish material which can travel and make people, you know, recognize themselves all over the world. And so the Danish version is really um, getting the writer at the top together with the producer. And, and um, we have so far not adapted books. Uh, we've only done original material. And, and, uh, and I think that is another thing, because you have a writer who's really, really concerned about what they want to write about, what they want to investigate, what they want to question. And, uh, and, and you know, then they follow that path so, so thoroughly all the way through. And, uh, and in the end, I've, I'm trying really to, to make them put questions to the audience and not uh, give answers, because the answers must be in the audience themselves. Uh, we shouldn't be dogmatic and tell people what to think and what to do. So um, that is the Danish model, you know, not mm. to repeat myself too much. Yeah, we will go into <laughs> then how you like take care of your writers and make them yes, develop. Yes, we can, we can do, do that after that. And actually, we have several mics if you, if I want to take them from the table, you can each have, have your own, uh, which yes. I always encourage because then you can talk like on top of each other. Yeah. It's not sitting there okay. wanting to say something. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Eva, how do you work at, at NRK with with the writers, with commissioning, series. Well, well, I listen to Piv, it's, it sounds so easy and we try to yeah. uh, follow it, uh, <laughs> but it's not that easy not actually, easy. you know. <laughs> um, uh, I can say we, we, the, the, the writing process in Norway has been developing for the last uh, 10 years um, and, and for 12 years ago we had a, a meeting in a place called Losby in, uh, in Norway. We started up a drama convent where we, all the people from the drama business uh, and met. And now it's an annual event, right? Now it's an annual yeah. event. So we have, uh, have, and all the people are, are met, uh, are meeting, and, and a lot of writers and producers and so on. And for 
12 years ago when we started up, we um, actually started up because we wanted to do race or quality of the, of, the, of the Norwegian drama, heading for an international Emmy or something. Mm. Uh, but then we asked uh, the, the Danes, because then they were famous already then, um, to come up and, and, uh, and tell us what to do. And they told us uh, the one vision, and we, we heard about it. And, and, but I think, it's, and, and we have tried to work with that so the kind of one vision and, uh, 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 since then. But I think the most important we, we learned in some way that, uh, that they, and that has influenced also the thinking slowly, slowly also in Norway, is, is two things about the writers. Uh, that is, you, you have to trust them and you have to pay them. <laughs> and, and that's the, actually if you trust them and pay them, uh, it's you are you are on a way. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> exactly. Protecting the writing process is very, the artistic process, the creative process is very important. You know, mm. keep all the executives out of there. You know, that's very important. Mm. Mm. Josephine, what's it like at TV Four? You've well, been head of drama just for a yeah, year. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Since April. Yeah. No, we have a really good strategy. Uh, we did a project called Modus, and what we did was that we took the brilliant writers that you have created. <laughs> and <laughs> so that no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, just no, but um, um, we, um, I think we're we're going from we have done so many adaptations from books mm. in Sweden. That has been what we have been doing, but that is changing a lot now. We're doing original series, mm. and. Um, so we're really, um, I mean, we're doing our first original series uh, starting uh, shooting in April. And that Can you say something about it or is it really We haven't secret? actually talked, I mean, we, it's not out yet. It's no. a bit... Um, well, but it isn't is, this the play? <laughs> oh, I don't know. But it, it's, uh, the, the interesting thing with that is that it was this, um, a writer who came to me. Mm. So we started the project. And so I really, I'm trying to take care of the writers. I'm trying to increase our budget for development. I, we had nothing when I started four years ago. Now we have a budget, but it's too low. So we have a big discussion now because that is also so important for me to put money in projects. Uh, so that can also fail because that has not been the, the situation. Mm. So I think, um, I mean, we started with Modus. That was amazing because, of course, Peter Toshbo and my Broström, the fantastic writers that you created, um, they were, I mean, they were... What shows did they do before in, in Denmark? They did, um, P it? Peter did uh, Unit 1. Yeah. And, uh, and then he did um, The Projectors. And he did, uh, he did part of uh, Taxa. Uh, and he did some, uh, some elements of uh, Kroniken. I don't know what that's in English, really. Better times, I think it may. Mm. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that protectors. That's protectors. That's protectors. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But, but well, he did good. Anyway, he and, worked and they in, wrote in it together. Mm. My mm. Uh, mm. of course, yeah. the eagle. Yeah, the eagle. The eagle. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was what I was thinking for. <laughs> the eagle. <laughs> yeah. Which was a really big success uh, all over Europe. Uh, mm. Peter and Mai did that together for the first time. They met and married while doing uh, Unit One. So that's a really nice story. Yeah. And mm. two. And they won three Emmy Awards. Yes. I mean, they're, and, and what, they, what they learned us was that, um, I mean, they were with us the whole process. And that was the first time they did an adaptation because this was an adaptation. Of a Norwegian book. Yeah. Danish writers yeah. in Sweden. Yeah. But they were, I mean, they were really, we created uh, how we were going to do the story. And then uh, they were in the whole process. I mean, even in the editing room, they they so were they the practically showrunners in or? a way, yes, absolutely, no. and also they were amazing because the, the actors and for us and the director could call them, and also what I thought was amazing that we had one day where the writers and the director sat for three days, I think, where they went through the script, really word by word, what does this mean and what's the, and that was. Crucial, and I also um, just no, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I also want to say that I mean we have two like legs. We have the the bigger series, the international projects, and then we have the comedy. And the comedy is so much working with national um, writers, mm. um, and uh, we have fantastic um, uh, companies that uh, find new talents, and uh, we try to help them to nourish that. So mm. it's like two worlds. Mm. One is more international, and we can look for, you know, writers around Europe, and then 
the other one is more national. Yeah, but I think I think as, as uh, Josephine say that that it's uh, it's one vision is not only the writing process. It's it's uh, picking the right director. It's casting. It's uh, do the writers get to say I want this person to direct, or is uh, that the producer yeah, at it's, your? It's 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 a, it's you know it's a mutual uh, decision because. Mm. But because you can't force a writer to take a, speci a, a, a particular actor if they say, I can't, you know, it's, it's not what I think it is. This mm. character is not like this. So the writers have quite a Absolutely. lot to say. Yeah. And, and that goes all the way through in the production design. You discuss it, uh, the DOP, you know, every, everyone is, you're always discussing it with the writer. Mm. So he or she feels sort of, uh, you know, onto the, every decision in the project and in the editing room as well, you know. If you have a discussion between the director and the writer, and you know it's sort of a power play, which you often get, I think it's very often, yeah. <laughs> and it's not easy. You very often will, would go with the writer, mm. you know, and that makes a lot of trouble and and you know slam, slamming doors and all mm. that stuff. But you would go with the writer because you know that the writer is going to stay on and on and on. Mm. What's it like in? Yeah, but I think I think that's a big change actually that I have. have, have because I know in, in Finland, happening. for example, Ule had like six in-house directors mm. just a couple of years ago. Mm. So it's been a very director-driven medium there. Mm. But mm. No, no, that's, been, that's, be been, that's been a big change. Uh, yeah. Also for NIK had a lot of in-house directors, but uh, we don't have any at the drama department at least. Um, but the, 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 the thing of trusting the writers also to not just being a writer, but to, to be a part of the whole process, following the, the project from, of course, from the, from the blank... Uh, Paper, but also to the to the last uh, to the edit last edit and 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 trust them to to f for their influence in the project. Also, we are also uh, when we attach uh, directors, we will uh, discuss that with the writer. We will discuss everything with the writer. It depends about the writer. Some writers like to to take place and 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 really be the leading part of it, uh, and some writers just do doesn't want that, but just want to. To secure or or be a part of the the group to to secure the vision in in, in the project, mm. but but uh, everyone is always I have an influence on the the writers have influence, and that's a big big change from from ten fifteen years ago when the writer just delivered the script and and luckily was invited to the to the opening excellent in some way. Mm. But it has had an it has had an influence on feature films as well, I think, because. Mm. Uh, Ten years ago, it would always be writer director. You know, it, uh, every director would write his own uh, screenplay, but now a lot of the, uh, directors prefer to work with a writer, mm. and that's a good. I think it's a good development. So it's yeah, it's yeah, going it's in both directions. Because you have a dialogue. Because it, yeah. it's very few directors who are good writers, really. You know, and and then you have this dialogue, and and every time you have a creative dialogue with something, with someone, you you will always you know work out something. You will move it. You will move it forward in another way than if you only do it on your own. So I think um, you know every, everyone benefits from sort of moving into different ways of working. Yeah, I think I think why we're doing is not just to be kind to the writers, but it's because of the qualities expanding, and it's it's been it's been worth putting all the money in keeping the writer in the room or in the project, and not letting him take another project because of surviving. But but paying them paying the writer well is worth every single of the best investment we have. Mm. Because it, it's really hard to to sort of lift up a bad script, but it's even harder to to sh to smash a very good script. So mm. you know, it's it's the script is is the most important thing. If you have a good script, you're there. You know. So you talked about the convention in in Lausbury that you've been organizing. Uh, are there um, similar schemes in in Denmark, Sweden? Because you you started it because you thought the level of, of screenwriting was too low and. Now the things we're seeing coming from Norway are really impressive. Yeah, yeah, the funny, uh, well, it's great. And and this year we we really got uh, international Emmy. I mean, people were like crying a bit late, the Nobel but, but anyway, it was uh, cool. Yeah. And and the same script was also uh, it's, uh, it's now in directly into into uh, to go to series in the states, and that's also a very new thing for us. And I, I think it's a direct con con connection from from the. <laughs> Trust the writer, pay the writer. We had in, in Lospe in the start mm -hmm. to this uh, uh, involving. It, it, Lospe is not not a scheme. It's just it's just a meeting point for all the people that m works in the business. Mm -hmm. 
So we started off with, I guess it was but 45 people. But is it only people. for Norwegians or Yeah, it's only for Norwegians. Norwe yeah, well, we invite people from Denmark and we invite people from, from uh, everywhere. And in, in the last years, we just invite more and more Norwegians because we got more and more experience to share. But it's, uh, it's, it's more kind of a, a Norwegian industry meeting where we say, well, this, we want to work together, we want to influence each other, and we want to, to be better and, and share uh, knowledge. And that's uh, that's how it works in the writers' room. Also, when it works, and this work also in the, in the, in the bigger uh, rooms. Do you have um, similar schemes in in uh, or like these kind of just for screenwriters conventions and so on? We for haven't. I mean, we haven't done it. Uh, mm -hmm. But I have. I'm working on a similar thing. Um, just to to um, yeah, I'm working on a similar thing <laughs> because I think we can also. Um, we, we have to show that we are serious and that we believe in the writers and show what we think that we can do. Um, yeah, so I have a, yeah, so The Danish Film Institute are doing some uh, sessions with writers once in a while. Mm. Once a year, I think, or mm. every other year, I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, but DR is not doing anything uh, specific. Um. No, but you nurture your own yes. writers yes, a lot. C can you tell us yeah. a little bit? I mean, uh, yesterday yeah. we talked a little bit about Rides Upon the Storm, Mm. And that's Adam Prisa who did Bor again. Mm. So, so it's the same person mm. again. Mm. And from what I understood, I talked to the producer in the fall, Camilla Hammerick, and mm. she said that basically you're like, okay, take the money, stay in your room, you can do whatever you want. And then a year <laughs> later, he's like, well, I yeah. had this idea. No, no, Is it like that? That's not... The truth, that, really. that, that's no, like kind of a rose-coated sort of uh, version. That's a, that's a good story. <laughs> that's what, 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 what it's she's for, a storyteller, actually. you know. She's <laughs> part of the of the of the team. No, um, actually, Adam pitched uh, "Rides Upon the Storm" uh, before he finished "Borgen." Okay. And he said he really wanted to do this uh, story about faith and religion and and how do we cope with it and how do what if we lose faith and how should we get it back and and when we get it back how do we sort of react to that mm. and how do we work with it in an everyday life uh, and relations with other people from all over the world? Um, and that is very interesting. We have, we have sort of a, a, a strategy which is, which is uh, trying to take on the more complicated things in life and tell stories about that on a sort of personal relational uh, level. Um, so that fitted very good into the strategy. Mm. And then he went off to, to uh, we gave him three months pay to, to write, you know, sort of the, the concept so we couldn't present it to DR. Mm. And, then, uh, and then he went off for one and a half years doing other things. Um, He's also a famous TV chef and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, runs his he, own production a company. Many talents, and, yeah. uh, too many talents because he can't <laughs> sort of control them all. But everything he does is very good at, so that's great. And it's very sort of uh, hard to, you know, sit down in the chair and, you know, sit there for more than five minutes and sort of, I, I got to go. <laughs> but, um, but Adam is now working on this series. Uh, we start shooting in August. And um, so, so, you know, that's, that's what we do. Because we, we didn't need this, this series before, in s before 17 when we aired in, in the fall of 17. Because we had other plans. And, and, but the, one of the reasons why we keep working with Adam because he's very good. He's a wonderful writer. Uh, but I think that after Borgen, which was just a ma smashing hit, uh, we should do one more together, DR and Adam. And that's the same thing uh, with Søren Sveistov, who did The Killing, and I produced it with him. And Søren and I have been working together for so many years, and now he's doing other stuff. But he's coming back too and start developing in the fall a new show for us. Because I thought we should do at least one more together because we just we left each other. Mm. But we have new talents, you know, Jebe, who's, ri who's uh, writing uh, uh, Follow the Money. Maya, you should... And he, he was working on Borgen, right? He, was, With he came right out yeah. of the film school and went into the writer's room of Borgen and now he developed into a head writer, which is a very complicated task to be a head mm. writer, really. Um, it's not every writer who can, who can do it. And, and Maya Ilsvig was doing the legacy. Uh, she did other stuff for us too. And then she just went off to think about what she was going to do. And then she pitched, came in and pitched this. And it's, it's a wonderful story. And, you know, so, and then you know, it does take time when you do two, three, four seasons. It, it, you have them for so long that you more or less become family in a way. You know? mm. They're just part of the, of the family. But, but I think, yeah. 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 Uh, Eva. Yeah, we are. yeah, you've been wanting to say something for <laughs> some time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I think, but I, because I think that's a very inspiring thing also for that DR has has showed us. 
at least as a public broadcaster that that you can you have to um, you have to decide quite early when what what kind of project you want to go for and you have to put a, a kind of line for it saying that well we're not going to make ne not next year but we are going to do it in three year or four year or whatever uh, um, and then and then you ha you you stuck to that plan and and not and not shopping around and try to find just uh, let it make a lot of um, projects and, and pay a lot of synopsis and treatment around and, and pick what you think is, is, is the best. As, a, as I think, uh, inspiring for, for as a public broadcaster to, to, that have the, this possibility to, to, to se select something quite early, see if, it, if the writer and a project fits and also if it fits with, with what you are thinking for the, for, for the broadcaster. And then just and just think this we are going to do this. It's mm -hmm. it's possible. And if we, everyone know that this is going to be done, that the the the, the, the um, power mm -hmm. is 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 connected into in into the project, and it's mm -hmm. it's a better chance to be a better mm -hmm. show. And that's a big uh, change for to be for as a commercial channel. When I started, it was like, well, we pick projects that we think is nice. When are we going to air it? We don't know. We have no idea. But now it's like we have a, a, a plan, and we when we start a project, how far does the plan go? Five years. Mm. So it's really detailed plan, and and it's so it's is it changed. detailed as in, so this should be for this and this audience. Uh, it should more be for women in the forty, no, in their forties, like no, not like that. It's more spring eighteen, or mm -hmm. I mean, more like that. Okay, uh, so it's like not that you like commission. Specific, no. it needs to fit no. this profile. It's no. more that um, we try to do a diverse. I mean, we want to do a lot of different kind of genres and everything. Mm. But it's it's it helps us. It helps me a lot. You always have to have like a goal. Okay, this is we're going to start this now, and we want to make it done until that time. Mm. And it's it's a big five, difference. Five years is quite a long uh, yeah. span. Before I think. we were we didn't have that. Mm. So it, it's really helpful for me and for all of us. Five years is tomorrow. It's, yeah. It's oh, okay. yeah, I mean, <laughs> but I, I can't, I can't that. sleep in my yeah. night because I'm, I'm wondering what are we going to do in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm worried about. Oh, you know? I just decided <laughs> that last week. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, we have five years. <laughs> oh, Give me yeah. a break here. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. But no. it is nice. You know, you have sort of the the, yeah. the sort of the cornerstones of yeah. what you're doing. Then you can, you know, you yeah. can change it and you can move it around. But you have the cornerstone, so you know yeah. what your aim is and what your repertoire is. You know, yeah. in in sort of basic of themes and and, and genres and yeah. all. That's really nice. Mm. Yeah. And you, of course, you. It's it's in-house productions. These big series that we are talking about. Most of it. Yes. Most of it. Yes. But. Uh, you, you, NRK, you often work with, with external production companies. Of course, you also have in-house, and you work with external companies. And now you have some kind of a new cooperation with Seymour. Could yeah. you maybe tell us a little bit well, this about is, that? This is very new. Yeah, it that's is, why I wanted to... It is to as new as that um, last week, my boss, Osa Schöberg, told me, but you know that you're head of drama for TV4 and Seymour. It's like, no. <laughs> well, thank you for telling no, nobody me. Nobody gave me a new card. <laughs> so that was how I got to know that. Uh, um, so that was quite interesting. But the thing is, we're going to have like, um, in March, we're going to have a meeting where we're going to invite all of you and we're going to tell more about this because it's, it is, I mean, if we would talk about it, it would take too much time yeah, here. Yeah, but but the, the good thing about it, to just say a quick uh, a couple of words, is that uh, we're going to be able to do more drama. Um because you're going to get more slots. Yeah, or yeah, more, more or money. My money. Yeah. Um, so um, we have green. Oh, who? someone who? cut who? you out there. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh. shut up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now she, she's telling you stuff that she, it's not public. Also, it's more more. like, cut it. Cut don't, don't cut her off. She's talking about money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, no, to but we, um, we actually green lighted four uh, projects, um, most of them original ideas. Uh, that's going to go first on Seymour and then on TV4. So TV4 will be a second window. Mm. Um, but that we had like a, uh, in the future, we, we kind of like had a plan that in a couple of years, we're going to be able to maybe do four series instead of one per year. So that's a big change. Mm. And it's an amazing, op I mean, it's good for all of us. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there's some clapping oh, from the audience. Right. <laughs> so I'm super sorry, but we need to, in the middle of this that great discussion, we, we need to wrap this up because we can't be too late and this last part of the program yeah. cannot be shorter than it is. But you're going to be around and thank you so much for coming, Ivar, Phil, thank you and Josephine. Thank you. Thank you.